So in this video, we're going to go ahead, add a building pad, some floors, and finish our first level to our house. Now you notice in this 3D view, we have a problem with our basement. It's full of dirt. To fix that, we want to go into our site plan and draw in a building pad, which can be found in our massing and site tab of our ribbon. If we go ahead and click that, and before we start drawing, we want to choose what level we want this building pad on. It's defaulted to ground floor, but because we have a basement, we want to click on that and select basement. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose my line tool and draw around the outside of my basement like so. Once it is complete, I'm going to go ahead and hit the green tick, go into my 3D view, and you can see now I now have a house that is no longer full of dirt. Next thing I want to do is I want to add a floor to my basement. If I go back to my architecture tab, make sure I am in my basement floor plan, I'm going to choose the floor option and select the boundary walls for my floor. Go ahead, click OK, back into 3D mode, and my floor has been placed. So in this particular case, you'll notice if I select my floor, it has ended up on the same level as my building pad. To fix that, I want to come down and select my building pad and change my height offset to negative 150 which is the width of my floor and that moves it down. I can now see that I have my building pad, my floor and then my bricks. The reason why we still add a floor in when we have a building pad is you'll notice that when I select my building pad I have no way to change the material. However on my floor here if I want to I can come in and change that in the edit type. Next thing I want to do is I want to come along and I want to add a floor to my ground floor. So I double click on ground floor, choose floor. Again, as per our walls, if I didn't want this 150mm, I do have a choice here. But we're going to go ahead and keep the generic 150mm and add some materials to it later. Going to select my boundary walls lines again. Once it's completely hit the green check, and it's going to ask me if I would like my walls that go up to this floor's level to attach to its bottom. I'm going to go ahead and click no, and I'll explain that in a moment. So I now have my house with my basement floor, my ground floor. We still have a hole here that needs to be fixed up. Now we can't use our topless surface to go across there because as anything if we were to dig a hole in the ground we would have some kind of structural wall that went across it. In this particular case I'm going to use a floor to fix this issue. So again I'm going to go to my ground floor. I can't see my basement so to help me locate my floor I'm going to choose the underlay and I am going to turn on basement. Now I'm going to go to my architecture tab, choose in floor and draw in my floor. Now this time I want to make sure my slab or my floor is going to the outside of these walls. So I'm going to choose the line option and I'm going to manually draw that in. Once it's complete, hit the tick. Again, I'm going to click no on that. Go to my 3D view. Okay, so now I have my floor, I have my basement. Okay, so now you'll notice that on this floor, it is overlapping with my walls. To correct that, what I want to do is I want to click on the wall here, and that'll bring up the modify walls panel. In that panel, you'll notice I have some geometry options here. 
this case I want to join my geometry. So if I go ahead and click that, I'm going to look down my bottom left here and it's telling me to select solid geometry to be joined. Well, I want to select my wall and then if I read again it says select, select solid geometry to be joined with the previously selected solid. So my next selection is going to be my floor. Now you'll see now that these two things are joined together. Also need to repeat that for this wall here, so I'm going to click on that and then select my floor. Hit escape to back out of that and now I have my floor without any interference from those walls. To make this floor blend into our topo surface, in this case here I'm going to select it over here in the properties, choose edit type and before I make any adjustments to the materials I want to make it unique. If I was to add a material to this one now it's going to add the same material to all my floors. So it's as simple as pressing duplicate. In this case I'm going to add a grass texture to it so I'm going to call it generic 150mm grass. Hit OK. To add my material under the structure click edit and there's my material there. So Click on that, click on this box. I want to use the same grass as my topo surface and as it's already in my library I can just search for that. Here it is there. Click on that, press OK, press OK and back all the way out of those option boxes. If I deselect that I now have my grass that matches my topo surface.